Sick of getting blisters? Stop slipping and just be comfortable with Pure Grip Socks Pro. Great fit, great comfort, lots of grip, and an even better price. Available now at puregripsocks.com. Inside these boxes are three of Nike's best indoor models as we head into 2023, all at three different price points, all of which are honestly pretty affordable considering the price of football boots these days, and all three great options if you're looking for something with a padded feel on the ball and a more cushioned feel underfoot. With the least expensive option being the Nike Street Gato that I have here in this really unique dark purple, pink, and black colorway retailing for just $85. For $25 more, you can get yourself a pair of Nike Lunar Gato 2s that I have here in this blindingly bright black, pink, and white colorway. These guys retailing for $110. With the most expensive boots of the bunch being the Nike React Gato that I have here in black, pink, and like a really Really dark purple, these guys retailing for $140. With the Gato lineup of indoor specific boots really offering something for everybody at different price points, and of course, depending on your own personal preferences, I'm gonna do my best to help you determine which of these three would be best for you in today's video as we go over all the details, compare them, and of course, take a look at how they fit and feel on feet. So if you're interested in learning more, please stick around. And if you are interested in any of these indoors for yourself, you can pick them up below their normal retail price by way of some exclusive SR4U coupon codes by checking out the links down below. Really quickly, if you guys enjoy seeing reviews of indoor and turf boots on the channel and want to see more of them, drop a like on the video and make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you haven't already so you don't miss out on my reviews of all the latest football boots of 2023. So starting off with the Street Gato, as the name would suggest, it's a little bit more streetwear focused in that, yes, you can use them as dedicated indoors, but they're also intended and designed to be worn as casual everyday sneakers. And when you're talking about the fashion industry, which I think casual wear sneakers fall into, it's a matter of personal preference as to whether or not you like the way that these look to wear them with a pair of jeans or shorts or whatever it may be. Everyone has their own personal style and luckily Nike has released these in a ton of different colorways. This definitely being one of the weirder ones that's a bit of an acquired taste. Nonetheless, what I like about the Street Gato, especially for its $85 price tag, is nothing about these boots feel cheap. The upper features this really soft kind of microfiber suede material on the surface. They don't really specify exactly what it's made out of, but it feels incredibly soft and very leather-like in terms of giving you that soft touch on the ball without feeling overly bulky. And of course, this suede-like finish on the surface does enhance the grip overall. You have some mesh that's reinforced through the midfoot, which is soft and also feels very secure with the laces tied tight. A traditional central lacing system allowing for plenty of adjustability and great comfort. I think the shaping and heel liner is fantastic from a lockdown as well as an everyday comfort perspective. And then the midsole is definitely on the chunky side, certainly in comparison to the other two. So if you like feeling really close to the ground, the Street Gato probably wouldn't be the best option for you but if you want maximum underfoot cushioning, this is really nice. It has a nice thick rubber border all the way through the forefoot and midfoot area. So from a durability perspective, these should hold up really well. And as far as the traction pattern is concerned, it's great for use on concrete, asphalt, any type of street environment. But as long as you keep it clean and the indoor court is well kept, it actually grips really nicely indoors as well also going to hold up very nicely. Again, durability, especially for $85, is probably the strongest aspect of these shoes. Next up, we have the Lunar Gato 2, which at $110 is an absolute steal. And it must be said that just like the Street Gato is available in a wide variety of colors. So if fluorescent highlighter pink isn't your thing, there are other options out there. Definitely something to be aware of because these are extremely loud. What makes the Lunar Gato 2 special is it's actually not a new pair of football boots. This is a model that Nike launched back in 2013. It stuck around for a couple years, was very well received, but eventually got replaced just just like every modern day football boot. But due to popular demand, Nike ended up bringing it back a couple years ago and the rest is history. They've made it readily available ever since. 
This boot's claim to fame is the combination of Nike's Hyperfuse material, which is basically a really thin kind of plastic mesh layered together with thin layers of plastic, creating this pliable and somewhat breathable material through the midfoot that still has decent structure to it with the laces tied tight, but that's combined with this quilted goat leather upper, which feels absolutely incredible. For $110, you are simply not going to find a better quality leather pair of indoor boots. The softness against your foot as well as on the ball is like I said, unmatched for anything at this particular price point. And even in comparison to far more expensive indoor models is just some of the best leather you're going to find period. The touch is phenomenal. And I love the fact that the leather is extended all the way through the midfoot here. So when it comes to controlling and passing the ball, you really have that super plush high quality leather sensation. Central lacing system and standalone tongue. So very traditional in that regard and allows for plenty of adjustment stability, a great overall fit, super comfortable. One of the best heel liner designs out there for an indoor model and in that it has this soft mesh on the sides and then a synthetic microfiber at the back for great lockdown and overall comfort. And then the midsole again has that rubber lip through the forefoot and midfoot area highlighted here and black, but does also feature a Lunar Lawn insert on the inside of the heel, giving you really good underfoot cushioning, but still maintaining a relatively low profile feel through the midfoot as well as the forefoot area. Awesome flexibility. The only downside of the Lunar Gato I've found is that if the court is a little bit dusty, this traction pattern isn't ideal. You have to constantly wipe, otherwise you are going to be sliding a little bit. But like I said, on a really well-kept clean court, the traction is just fine. Which brings us to the most expensive option in the lineup, the Nike React Gato, which unlike the other two, which kind of feature more leather-based uppers, this features a full fly knit construction, but a relatively unique one in that upon closer inspection, it's actually somewhat uncoated on the surface or at least doesn't feature a solid layer of Nike skin over top. Instead, it's coated in little pieces, which means that it doesn't take away from the softness and sock-like feel of that fly knit base, but it still gives you that little bit of additional grip on the ball. A slight grittiness, I guess, is the best way to describe it. And honestly, if I had to compare it to anything else out there, it's kind of like what Nike just introduced with Grip Knit on the Phantom GX, but just kind of taken down a couple notches and that it doesn't necessarily have the same sticky sensation as that Phantom GX model does. Nonetheless, from a comfort perspective, these are some of the most comfortable indoors out there. There's absolutely no break in time to this upper. It legitimately feels like a pair of socks on your feet. And from a touch perspective, it kind of has vibes of the OG Hypervenom Phantom 1, if you wanted to compare it to something else, which is a football boot that people loved because of the feel that it had on the ball. So very high marks in the touch, feel, and comfort category for the React Gato. It's some of Nike's best upper technology, in my opinion. Central lacing system with a one-piece upper construction, allowing for plenty of adjustability. And again, overall, a great fit. Pretty well the same heel liner design as what's found on the Lunar Gato 2, which is not a bad thing. And then you have a React foam cushion midsole, which is kind of like Nike's new take on Lunar Lawn, which is found on that Lunar Gato model. Just a little bit more firm and honestly, just more more durable overall, a solid rubber lip, again, all the way through the forefoot and toe box area for the sake of durability, and honestly, a really solid traction pattern. But again, if the court is a little bit dusty because it's quite dense, you do have to wipe. It also does have this little kind of touch system on the bottom made up of these little pods, but honestly, it's a very gimmicky feature, not something that you really notice at all. If you do get a pair, remove the insole, inspect what's happening on the inside, but ultimately it's a gimmicky thing that most people aren't even gonna notice whatsoever. On feet, the Street Gato as well as the Lunar Gato 2 so honestly have a pretty similar overall feel, mainly based on the fact that they do have padded leather uppers and also have relatively significant underfoot cushioning, not to mention a standalone tongue and traditional central lacing system. So definitely a lot of similarities between the two. I would say the Lunar Gato 2 is more low profile underfoot. It's a little bit of a slimmer midsole. And as far as the feel of the upper is concerned, it's definitely noticeable that the goat leather upper of the Lunar Gato 2 is more premium, but overall, 
Both boots are extremely comfortable out of the box and aren't really gonna give you any problems as far as break-in time is concerned. As far as width goes, both will be suitable for just about anybody because of the central lacing system and standalone tongue. Plenty of adjustability and great lockdown with the laces tied tight. And as far as sizing is concerned, instead of my usual 9.5 US that I tend to wear in most FG football boots, I'm wearing these half a size larger in a size 10, mainly based on the fact that indoor boots do have this rubber lip at the front that doesn't allow your toes to kind of hang over the edge or at least allow the upper to stretch a little bit in length like you would with a normal pair of football boots. So half size up for most people if you don't want them to be overly snug is what I would recommend. But if you do like that super tight fit, going true to size wouldn't necessarily be a bad idea. And then as for the React Gato, it definitely stands out as being the most different from the other two in terms of fit and feel, not having a leather upper, it's thinner and also has much more of a sock-like sensation. There's just more pliability to this material, certainly out of the box. Once broken in, I would say that separation is a little bit less noticeable, but also the React cushioning, it feels more flat all the way through. So if you're looking for the lowest profile sensation, underfoot, the React Gato again would definitely be the way to go. Super flexible, super sock-like, and again, pretty much everything you would want from a knitted indoor boot. Nothing to complain about here whatsoever. From a width perspective, it has a very rounded shape pretty much all the way through the forefoot and toe box area. And again, plenty of width, so suitable for just about anybody. And as far as sizing is concerned, again, I'm wearing this in a size 10 US, half a size up from my normal 9.5, which is just typically what I do with pretty much every indoor boot. So again, if you wear your boots, really snug going half a size up in a pair of indoors is typically not a bad idea but if you just like your indoors to feel super tight as well sticking true to size would not be a bad thing to do so in conclusion which one should you buy well like i said it depends on your budget and your personal preference when it comes to feel if you just want something as cheap as possible that gets the job done the nike street gato at 85 dollars or less you just can't go wrong with if you're into leather boots, then I think the Lunar Gato 2 is a no-brainer with, honestly, some of the best leather you're going to find on any football boot product, period. And if you're into knitted boots, along with your budget allowing for it, of course, the Nike React Gato with its fly knit upper, again, is some of the best knitted material you are going to find on a pair of football boots right now.